Um, good morning everyone. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, in this short video I'm going to be talking about what happened to uh, my phone XS um, Max. That was uh, from AT&T and I bought it from OfferUp and the guy ended up uh, reporting uh, I think I had a loss of stolen because about a week later after I, I bought the phone um, I checked on the website and it says it was uh, uh, either uh, lost or stolen. I tried. I tried to contact him, and he just didn't respond. So a couple of days ago, when I tried to uh, call AT and T and explain to them what really happened, uh, however, they didn't budge. They said, "You know what? Only the uh, original um, buyer uh, with the invoice uh, will be able to unblacklist uh, the phone itself." Um, uh, and then they, the, the representative kept on telling me, hey, just get, have him call AT&T. And I told her, you know what, it, it was a fraud. Um, he probably claimed loss and and um, to get another replacement phone with insurance. Uh, of course, he's not going to respond to my uh, to my text. Um, however, she said, there's no way nobody else can do it. Um, and that was it. So the phone itself, I, I don't know how long the process to kick in, but I bought the phone for about maybe two months or two months and two weeks. Um, it was working fine until like um, yesterday. That's when it would just completely stop uh, having any signals. You can use the phone itself, but it just it doesn't have any signal. It doesn't connect to anything. You use a Wi-Fi. So, however, uh, the fact that I bought a gold uh, iPhone XS Max from AT and T, uh, it has some values in it. I just put, I just posted back on uh, Offer Up, and I listed the phone, you know, uh, as a blacklisted phone. I still get a lot, a lot of uh, like offers, like six hundred, six hundred and fifty dollars, five hundred. I get bombarded with them, and there's one guy that actually. Uh, made me like a, a like a good offer about seven hundred dollars and he asked me sp specifically you know what the conditions um, what color uh, and I told him uh, you know what this phone is like new um, I only use it for about two months and he was like yeah, yeah I know you know uh, I buy phones and cell phones all the time and uh, what I'm gonna do with it is uh, I'm gonna ship it over to overseas so apparently even the blacklisted phones iPhones uh, they can still use it in Mexico or overseas, like in, in Hong Kong. I asked him specifically, where are you going to send it? And he said, I'll send it to Hong Kong. And when I met up with the guy, he has like some kind of apps on his uh, iPhone. And he just punched in my um, IMEI number and then blah, 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 populated a bunch of stuff. And it's, it's all green, 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 green. And he verified that it was at t phone. And he just paid up uh, $700. So within two months, I lost about a couple of dollars, but lesson learned. Um, I I don't know what I could have done because like I said, uh, um, when the guy reported loss, I don't know how soon it kicked in the system, but I think at least uh, eight, eight weeks before it actually, the status become blacklisted. So it's it for, for ordinary person to buy the phone, it'll be really hard because if they want to report a loss or someone, they'll do it and all of a sudden, your phone becomes like a brick. So, anyway, I lost some money there, but lesson learned, you know, there's, there's gonna be people out there in this world that will do crooked or unethical stuff and we just have to, you know, dodge those people. But, um, I, I, I there's a website that I checked um, to see if the phone was lost or stolen. But like I said, again, even if they reported lost or stolen, it doesn't kick into effects until probably about four, eight, eight weeks into it. So about two months later. So it's called, uh, I M E I pro dot info. That's the website. So you go there, uh, you can check uh, to see which carrier, um, if the phone is blacklisted, they also have, uh, like international, um, blacklist uh, database server too so um, that's it about this video so I uh, before that I thought you know what well even if it's blacklisted I can still use it 
uh, but I guess not. Once it's blacklisted, the phone itself cannot be used in the U.S. So eventually they're gonna brand up, and then they can might you know you expand it to overseas also. But at this time, I think it's just only uh, within the U.S. So next time, just I don't know. Check the check the guys' feedback if you're buying it from OfferUp. Uh, but uh, I think my suggestion, if you're gonna buy some kind of like uh, expensive phone, such as the iPhones, um, you should either buy from eBay or from a, a Swappa.com because those websites, at least, they give you like up to uh, uh, even PayPal. I think six months you can file a dispute with it, uh, and in eBay uh, and Sw Sw Swappa for sure, you know, they have like uh, policies that protect the buyers. But uh, unlike offer ups or uh, Greg's list, whatever you buy, you, uh, it's just a 50 50 percent chance. So until next time, um, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video. By the way, if you have any questions or comments, just leave it in the section below, and I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. Thank you very much.